This is Justin Germino here from DragonBlogger.com showing you how to fill out the author review settings for your author H review plugin. This allows you to have micro data for your review posts in your WordPress blog, but also will allow you to have a star rating, details, and easily add both a product link and an image showcasing the product that you review. To fill this out, you'll see a new editing feature on your WordPress editor tab called author H review settings or author review settings. What you want to do is fill out each of the tabs completely to make sure you get a, a comprehensive appearing uh, review portion for your article. So the first tab is the main tab. Here you want to select your star rating on what you thought of the product. And it goes from no rating to five star ratings with increment half star increments, and that's all this plugin can do at the moment. The name of the product you're reviewing, in this case this author is reviewing the all-key quad port USB car charger. Next, you'll do a review summary. This is just kind of like a recap of your review. Try to keep it to one paragraph or so because it shows at the top of your article, so you don't want to reveal too much and have them not read the whole article. So you want to do the review summary that kind of summarizes it but doesn't give too much information away. If you're being paid to do the review, you can also have it do a disclaimer automatically. So after you fill out this tab, you'll click on the Details tab. Here, the type of product you're reviewing. This isn't going to be the product name. This is going to be what type of product it is. So in this case, you're going to want, this is a USB car charger. That's all I put for the product. The author name is misleading. This plugin was originally developed to do WordPress plugin reviews and like software reviews where there was an actual author. So in this case, you ignore author name and you would put the name of the company that makes this product. In this case, it's Aukey. Version isn't necessary for most hardware you review. It's mostly used for software. And the price is going to be the price of the product and, and what it is and where you're selling it from. So in this case, I'm putting $19.99 on Amazon because that's what it's current listing is on Amazon. <clears throat> so there, you've got the details tab filled out. Next, the display tab. Now here, you're going to want to choose a thumbnail image that fits at the top left where the review uh, is going to be in the little summary and everything. So there's a quick way to do this. For my own editors, we basically have a template file in, in paint.net, and I call it the, you know, <clears throat> reviewed mobile light.pdn. So what you do here is you've got layers here, and you see the Dragon Blogger logos to the left, and i got a whole bunch of layers here. All I care about is layer 5, so we're going to want to put the product on layer 5. So again, using paint.net, which is free, you go over to the Amazon product link key, which is over here. You're going to use a, I use Lightshot to print the screen, take a copy of the product, you go over to paint.net, on layer 5, you control V to paste, and then you resize the product to fit nice and neat alongside your logo. Then you'll do file, <clears throat> save as. Make sure you compress it to a single layered image like a JPEG, and then name the product. Like reviewed, all key, four port, USB is what I'll name it here. Enter, save it, flatten all the layers and there you've got your product image so now back in WordPress we're gonna select that image click upload image we're gonna select file we're gonna go to where I recent places where I saved it and I'm gonna select it and here we get to name it if you need to name it or you don't have to caption it because it's not gonna be a standard integration uh, standard image that's inserted so we're gonna use this as my featured image so go ahead and click that and then click insert into post and what it actually does is it puts the URL of that image right here into the upload image area. So that's done there. Next we'll do the link because you want to sell the product. You want to typically use your affiliate sale uh, so you can make some commissions if anybody buys it. So in this case again you go to your Amazon product, you get your ASIN code which is in the URL uh, after the DP or after the product name and you'll see it always looks like this um, 10 character code here or so. Copy that and then you're going to want to go into your editor Find your easy build affiliate link, replace the ASIN, so here's the ASIN for that product, and then what I do now is take that URL, then I use Bitly, shrink the URL so you can get click tracking, copy it, and then you put the URL there and say buy it now, buy one now, give it a little call to action item there. You just want to leave this unfollowed, you don't want to do follow links. So then you also want to make sure all images are affiliate optimized links too so by clicking here and I check the image and I see this one was already done but I still like using bitly to track links always no follow your images <clears throat> and then you're ready to go and then schedule and publish your review so that's how you fill out all the tabs for this I'm gonna go ahead and publish this article and show you what it looks like after it's published what the review settings do and how it looks when it's a published post 
So I'm going to publish this article. I'm going to view post, and I'll show you what parts that H review settings fill out. So now you'll see the H review is what fills out this top part here. You can see there's our nice little featured image. You know the link which goes to the Amazon link we created. Also the buy it now, the star rating, the type of product, the company, price on Amazon, and the reviewed by is automatically filled out as to who the reviewer was, the uh, the WordPress author. You know the profile of the WordPress author. So you don't really you know need to worry about that that doesn't matter and then here's that little review summary that caps at the top here so then you get your whole article and then at the very bottom it shows you a little bit more in the plugin another summary right here and then again sales price rating and then go click to buy it now so that's how you fill out the author H review settings in the WordPress post editor thank you for watching